Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the second OPE News. I'm so excited to share with you some of the news around our school. Every episode, we like to start off our show with a joke or trivia question. Over to you, Sarah, to tell us the trivia question of the week. The trivia question of the week is, when did OPE open? Stay tuned till the end of our broadcast to find out the answer. I'd like to get to know people around OPE. Students were asked to say three words that were on their minds. Here they are now. The Student Council helps make decisions that make our school a better place, and now they're helping raise money for koalas and other animals. Now over to Charlie for more information on the San Diego Zoo's Global Australian Wildlife Relief. I'm here with Matt who raised $100 for the animals in Australia. Why did you do it? Because I don't want the animals in Australia to get extinct. Thank you. Here we have some kids from the Student Council. They will be talking about the fundraiser to save animals in the Australia fires. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name Re my name's Reed Greenberg and I'm the school vice president. Hi, my name is Riley Panther and I'm the school president. Hi, my name is Charlie Corney and I'm the school secretary. What inspired you to do a fundraiser to help the animals? Um, we just... Um, we're inspired because the uh, Australia fires were really bad and we wanted to help in some way. And we also, we felt bad for the animals whose homes were being burned down and we were just thinking about them. What are you going to do for your class's fundraiser? We're not sure yet, but we're going to talk to our teacher and brainstorm ideas. What do you want to accomplish? Um, we want to raise um, as much money as we can and send it to the fires to try to help save the animals and stop the fires. And we just want to um, uh, help all the animals and the people that are suffering from the fires, help them get home and homes and resor resources so they can survive. Thank you. Just recently, 5th and 6th graders were given the opportunity to try out for the OPE basketball team. Here's Charlie at the courts. Lane at the OP basketball tryouts. Why do you want to make the team? Because I really love basketball and I think it would be fun to be on the team. It's very obvious that everyone wants to make the team. I hope you make the team. Last but not least is Ty. Why do you want to make the team? Uh, I like basketball. It's fun and I just want to be a part of the team. Well, I really hope you make the team. Shocker! The Kindness Club is so helpful to our school. They make sure that everyone stays kind and helps others. Now over to Charlie telling us about the Weekly Kindness Challenge. Hello, and I'm here with the Kindness Crew. I'm Colette. I'm June. I'm Riley. I'm Lucy. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jordy. And, and we're, we're the members of the Kindness, kindness crew. crew. Starting this week, we will have a Weekly Kindness Challenge. This week's kindness challenge is say good morning to 15 people. Thank you, and remember to stay kind. Thank you for telling us about our weekly kindness challenge. Every episode, we will do a staff spotlight. The purpose is so that we get to know our teachers and other staff. Here's Vince with Miss Estelle now. 
Here we have Miss Estel, our second staff spotlight, and I'm going to be asking some questions to her. What inspired you to be a teacher? Let's see. Well, at a young age, I, I always liked being around children. I started babysitting when I was 11 or 12. Uh, later on, uh, when I started college, I had to pick a major, and I thought it would be something working with children. So originally, I thought about being a pediatric physical therapist. My aunt was one. Uh, then I changed to um, the teaching program, I guess it's called. So another reason. So I was like being around children. I also wanted a career that allowed me to be a parent that would not work on the weekends and have holidays off and summers off so I could be um, home when, when my uh, son was home as well. So those, those are the things that inspired me to be a teacher. Thank you, Vince. And how long have you been working here at OPE? This, see, I just, just recently uh, in January would have been four years. So I've been here for four years. And what's your favorite subject to teach? I know you teach us math and stream, so like, which one do you like better? I hate math. No, just kidding. Math is my favorite subject uh, as a student and as a teacher. Uh, if I didn't teach math, I think my second favorite would be art. Art would be fun to teach. So if I can integrate art and math together, which I try to, uh, that would be the best. I also would like to teach art. That sounds very fun. And have you taught at any other schools? I did teach before I came here. I moved, I lived up north. So I was in uh, Bakersfield in Kern County, Northern California. I worked there for 15 years and I taught grades four, five, uh, fourth, fifth, first, and second. So those were the grade levels that I taught. And were you ever a homeroom teacher? I know you basically just answered that, but... Yes, so in yes. Those, those 15 years, I was a homeroom teacher. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Estel. Well, thank you. Very much. The weather has been lovely lately. Here's Anna and Jasmine with the weather. How's the weather? How's the weather? How's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it Kindergartners do great? Recently, Groundhog's Day happened. It looks like we're in luck because Mr. Phil failed to find his shadow. That means early spring, here we come. Miss Clark's class did a reader's theater about Groundhog's Day. We, and we have some clips from it we'd love to show you. Emma knows she's farther away from the barometer than ever. And now, poking his head out of the ground, right in their way, is a groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack. Excuse me? Peter Piper picked a pack. He did a pack of what? 
Peter Piper picked the pickle, pickle and pepper. Wow, that's very hard to say. You're very good at tongue twisters. Thank you. It's a gift. And I have lots of time to practice. I spend most of the winter underground. The There's not much else to do there. Underground? What are you? Promise you won't get mad? Of course we will. I'm a groundhog. A oh, groundhog? I hate groundhogs! See? Man, it's your fault winter came so late this year. <laughs> it's not. People are always picking on me whenever I stick my head up on a nice day in February. Everyone yells at me. <laughs> Now for your weather. On Saturday, it looks like it's going to be a sunny day with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. On Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy with only a 10% chance of rain. The high is going to be 84 degrees and the low will be 34 degrees. I'm Jasmine and that's your weekend weather report. Back to you, Emma and Sarah. Now for our answer to our trivia question. Over to you, Sarah. Time for the answer to the pressing trivia question. When did OPE open? The answer is 1994. In 1994, Mrs. Emily Andrade became the first principal. Mr. Weber, Miss Warburton, and Mrs. Gilroy were a few of our original staff members who helped open the school. We're lucky to have such a great start. Thank you for watching this week's edition of OPE News.